Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Gentleman Masterclass. I am your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you the complete guide to shining new shoes. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to yet another episode. Before we go ahead and get started, I hope you guys don't mind. I think I'm getting ready to open up this box and have a pour of whiskey real quick. Let's just relax and become cordial with one another really quickly. And we will get started promptly. This one is called the Mars Blended Whiskey Saigo Don. This is a limited release. And this will be my second pour of this. I'll keep this one out on the tabletop as I'm doing my little shoe shine and we're gonna go ahead and take care of business. Nice sweet smell, I can smell it from here. Mmm, very sweet and vanillic. Not only on the nose, but on the tongue as well and a little bit of chocolate in there. Gentlemen, I would like to tell you guys, if you're not already aware, that we do have a brother channel to Gentleman Masterclass, which is called Gentleman's Club Whiskey. I urge you guys, if you are into whiskey at all, especially Japanese whiskey, to make sure that you go and pay that channel a visit. I do reviews over drinks, such as the one that I'm having now. And if you guys have the time, and the money, please go on over to Amazon.com and check out my new book, 50 Japanese Whiskies, where I review a lot of things that are not available inside of the States that are highly desirable. And I think you guys get a kick out of that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. I have my shoes in front of me. Now, what had happened was when I had bought these shoes, they cost so much money that the company decided to give me some free service and they they gave me some pre-shoe treatment right before I got to take them home with me uh, the same day that I purchased them obviously but they gave me uh, some pre-treatment as I was getting ready to leave the store and it was just free of charge but we're going to go ahead and take the liberty to even do some more pre-treatment to the shoes and then after that we're going to go ahead and do the shine. I'm going to reach down real quick and grab my box of goodies. I keep inside of this box right here all of my shining accessories and apparatus. And it's quite a bit. I mean, it's not too heavy, but it's it sure is heavy enough. I got enough of Saphir things inside of here. And since these are black shoes, I think I'm going to use this rag today. This is actually a rag made out of cotton, out of cotton socks that I had just cut up because they had become so worn and used. And even I think I lost one pair. So what do you do? You just cut it in half and use the other pair for cleaning. And this is black, so I'm going to use it with my black shoes. I do have a nice cotton Saphir rag, but I want to strictly keep this to only using this with my brown shoes I don't want to mix the two rags with one another. I want to keep brown for brown and black for black And that's the way it goes Let me just go ahead and slide these shoes on over to the side real quick so I can have a, a better look inside of this box See what it is that I'm working with here Right so this is one of the ones that we're gonna need today. This is the Saphir Renovator. This is uh, mink oil based, and this is used for rejuvenating leather, either old leather or whether you wanna do some pre-treatment to some brand new shoes that you bought, you definitely need this. So we're putting this out on the shelf. 
Cream, 1925. This is the black color. This one is Shea Butter based and this is going to be used for the vamp of the shoe. This is a little bit lighter than wax, so not as thick and is very good for that purpose. Finally, I'm missing one. I found it. The Made Eye Door 1925 from Saphir. This is the black color and this is Saphir Black Wax. So I think these are the three that we are going to use. Anything else inside of here? Got some miniature brushes and things like that, but I don't think I'm gonna be using those today. Or I just might. Could probably use this for some type of application, maybe. Maybe I use it, maybe I don't, but let's just go ahead and put that to the side. This one is for buffering, but I already used this with brown shoes, so I'm not gonna use it with these. Now that we got everything that we need to shine our shoes with, I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera angle just a bit and bring it up nice and close so that you guys can see every step that I'm doing. I'm only gonna do one shoe for this program and as we get to the very end of the video, I will show you a picture of both shoes together. All right, before I go ahead and get started with these shoes, the first thing that I would like to do, since they're absolutely brand new, I have these little pieces here. These are called heel plates, and I wanna put these on my shoes before I even walk in them for the first time. And this is something, this one right here, this is made in Tokyo, but you can get them all over the world. They're extremely cheap usually made of plastic you just hammer some nails through them and you put them on the heel just to keep your heel wear from uh, happening as fast as it usually would if you wouldn't have them on your shoes so let's just go ahead and flip over one shoe real quick i did manage to lose my nails to this so i do need to go ahead and try to find my nails at some point in time probably after this video finishes but there is some sticky tape double-sided tape on the back side I can at least tape them in place and as I get the nails or if I don't get the nails then I can just go ahead and buy some new ones and just hammer these on through so let's take this off I don't know what I could have possibly done with those nails but there we go that's one side let's try to get the other there we go. I hope this is still sticky enough for the application. You don't want to put them on the exact edge of the shoe. These are actually kind of wide for these shoes. Not sure how I feel about using them, but we will use them. So it doesn't go exactly to the edge, but okay. It's pretty good. I don't want it overlapping with the very back edge of the heel. I hope that shows up on camera for you guys, but that's what that looks like on there. I got that one set in place. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Same process. Just go ahead and remove this double-sided tape. Okay, got that off. If I can get this on here as nice as I did on the other pair, as nice as I did on the other shoe. You wanna make sure that there's no dirt, that way the adhesive sticks, but it doesn't matter once you put the nails inside of here, so. Let's get that on there like so. All right, nice and beautiful. Okay, I definitely got that one how I like it. 
it's a little bit of a better job and once this is on I don't think I can slide it along or move it any further it's good enough so got those on there let's go ahead and move this trash out of the way I got two different brushes here this one is made by Saphir and it is nice it works nice the only thing I hate about it is that it sheds hair absolutely everywhere and in any case we're not going to use this one today as this is one that I strictly only use on my brown shoes so let's go ahead and put this one to the side and this is the one that I had prior this is made by a German brand this is the one that I use only strictly for my black shoes they told me specifically at the store when you're shining your shoes and you're doing the cap toe part of the shoe to truly take care and to brush it very lightly that's what the guy said to me he just said brush it lightly I guess he's very scared that I'm gonna scratch something I could take care of shoes pretty good I'm not gonna destroy them in any type of way especially since I'm the owner so let's go ahead and take care of this just a quick whiskey break mmm absolutely delicious let's keep that out of the way I got a little bit of water here this is not necessarily for drinking but we are going to use this for applying our wax polish to these shoes all right like I said we're only gonna do one at a time so let's just get this one out of the way so that it's less obstructive and get this thing into focus right here first we're gonna start off with the Saphir Renovator like I said this is mink oil based and this is for restoring the leather whether it's new or and or old let's get this all around this shoe here I may have mentioned it inside of a previous video but I'm definitely not going to remove the shoelaces inside of this video and or subsequent videos for these shoes there is some stitching that is here this is the quarter of the shoe and inside of the quarters you can see that there is some stitching going along here that is attaching the tongue always keeping it permanently inside of the upright position so that it doesn't drop down inside the shoe it's a nice feature to have when you're putting on your shoes but when you're shining your shoes it's very cumbersome so I don't want to untie my shoes because with this thing being here and this tongue always up it is going to be very difficult to get the shoelaces back inside of these eyelets so we're just gonna go ahead and leave those on but we're gonna be very careful about not getting any wax and or polish on them let's go ahead and rub that all the way around very nice these shoes are starting to look alive already if they didn't before again being very careful inside the quarters section because of these laces up here just gonna use one finger and go in between each individual lace all right get some more get it on the back of these shoes I actually feel like I use too much a little bit goes a long way again let's be careful
the leather is already so smooth on these I think that these are gonna shine up very nicely yeah I got this on here nice and thick I think the excess I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it off on the other shoe because I definitely use too much or you know what I can just bring it on over to the other side We're going to go ahead and sit this to the side and allow it some time to, to dry and then we're going to go ahead and put on the next piece of the puzzle. It usually tells you on the side here how long it takes for it to dry. So it says after application just let it sit for three minutes and that's essentially it. All right, now that we've got that Renovator application on there, let's go ahead and prep the shoe for the next part. Just lightly brush, make sure that all this stuff is off of here, all this dust and anything else. Stuff is actually a little bit sticky. Right. There's that. And which one are we looking for? We're looking for the the cream 1925. Wow, look at the price on that. I paid 2,400 yen with tax on this one. That's quite expensive. That's actually about $22, but no big deal, it's what you need to get the job done properly. And I'll be opening this one up for the very first time. Let's get ourselves prepped. I think I wanna use this smooth side. Okay, here we go. Actually, I didn't mean to put that on the toe of the shoe. I only meant to put it on the on the vamp and the quarters, but it's okay. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Spread that around just a bit. Put a little bit more. All right, let's have at it. Oh, that's instant gratification. Let me make sure that I'm showing you guys. Look at that going on there nice and thick. Got to make sure that we hit every part of the shoe. Like I said, this is not as thick as the wax. 
not as strong either. Very heavy smell on this. So it won't last as long, but it'll do a good job of shining the shoe. You know what, we might as well just hit that toe since we already got that on there. Just a little bit. Make sure that's spread all around nice and evenly. Make sure we get that underside of the shoe there. This dimple. Oh, that's looking beautiful already. All right, this one says to let it sit for about five minutes. And then after the five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and brush it. So there's that. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and put the cap back on this real quick. Set that to the side, and let's brush this in. Go ahead and take my clean rag, put this on. Go ahead and hit it one more time with the brush. It's already looking better than what it did when I first started. I think actually what I'm going to do at this point, I'm gonna hit the vamp and the quarters one more time with this cream, but I'm gonna do that off camera. You guys don't need to see that process again, but essentially just do the same thing all over again. So now that we're finished with the renovator, 
and with the cream 1925 we're going to go ahead and put these to the side and we are on to the final step of the process just putting on some wax this is the hardest part and it takes absolutely the longest time to do but if you are a good enough shiner within 10 minutes you should be able to see some type of shine but I like to put on application after application to get it really nice and thick so that once I buff it the shine really starts to come through this is the part where we're gonna need some of our water let's go ahead and get this top off if I can it's taped down that's that's one thing that will keep you from twisting it off see if we can go ahead and get this tape off all right yeah they really had that film on there nice and thick so now that we got that off should be much easier time to just open the lid gently I usually like to use the inner lid as the part that I keep my water in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Let's just fill this up with some water. About as much as you need, if not a little bit more. I really like the leather to get soaked in deeply with this wax, so I like to use a lot of water. First part, let's put our chamois back on. I'm going to use a different part of the chamois this time. Let me flip it. Okay. And here we go. Dip it in the water. Get some wax on the top. Oh, that's nice and creamy. That's real nice. And let's go ahead and hit this toe. And I like to hit the heel equally. Dip it inside of the water every now and then. You want to keep just going around until you stop having beads on the tip of the shoe. Let's go into the vamp just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just, just enough so that that has a little bit of a shine to it. Let's call this layer number three. Yeah, I think ultimately we're just gonna cake this on at first and then we're gonna go ahead and do the process with the water. My fingers are an absolute mess from this. I'm definitely going to wash up good after this video is over, but it is what it is. The things you got to go through to look nice. Let's make sure that we get that little bit of wax that we put on, on the vamp there. It's okay to put a little bit here, but you don't want to put too much because if you put too much on a hot and dry day it's gonna start cracking up on you you're gonna start seeing some white white film come off and that doesn't look good you don't want to see that in public we're 
are we at? I think this is layer number five. Not sure. The good thing about it is that once you're done getting all your layers on and you wax it and you shine it up real nice, you let everything dry, you can come back, hit it again the next day and get it even thicker and glossier. But it takes time, but today should be a good start. Here we go, six. Then I get to hit the other shoe and do it all over again. Because we need two equal shoes to show at the end of the video. Had a little bit extra on the tip of the cloth there. Had to get that off. Already done lost count on which one we're on. This is either number six or number seven for the layers. I lost count. Not even worried about remembering where I was at. I think it should be good enough either way. Let's call this next one seven. Next, eight. Let's see if we could speed this up a little bit. Because you guys are probably getting just about as tired as I am. I tell you what, my arm is already tired. And I got a whole nother shoe I got to go into after this. nine another thing I'm getting tired of is hearing my little whiskey glass rumble around on the table here as I'm working extra hard on the countertop with a lot of force well not not a lot of force but just very vigorously let's say that yeah let's go ahead and have a quick whiskey break cheers to you guys Mm. Getting about done with this. We're going to go ahead and put this off to the side. So it becomes less of a distraction. Oh man, I already forgot again. Where were we at? Was that eight or nine? Let's call this nine. I probably put too much or too little, but... In the beginning stages, don't worry about it. There's not a there's not a such thing as too much in the very beginning. After a point in time, it will become too much. All right, that's nine. Finally, 10. Ooh, be able to take a nice break after this. All right, now that we got our 10 layers on there, we can go ahead Start introducing some water to the mix. Just going around inside of circles and shining it up until you see the little water beads start to disappear. And after they disappear, then you can go ahead and get some more water and put it on the top again. Takes me back to my days in the Air Force when I was shining boots and basic training and beyond. They used to come inside of there inside of our locker and inspect it. 
If you had a really bad locker, they'd just tear it up, make you make it all over again from the beginning. Oh, wow, this is coming through nicely. That's how you get a quick shine right there. You layer it on in the very beginning. Once you go through all that hard work, that grueling work of getting them 10 layers on there, you hit it with that water and it immediately starts to come through. You see all the, all the water beads have left now, so you gotta get some more water. Put it on there again. Just keep going around inside of circles until it dries up again. Then you get some more water and go at it again. And let's hit this vamp really quick since I did introduce a little bit of wax to this. We don't want to neglect that. We do have to thin that out so that it's not on there so thick. I think I put about two layers of wax on the vamp. And that should be good for that. We don't need to reattack that anymore. I'm already starting to see some beautiful stuff going on here. That's absolutely amazing. I know you guys are catching that light seeing that shine happening I'm no I know I'm not the only one that sees that absolutely amazing we got that nice and dry again so now what we're gonna do let's go ahead and hit it with the water one more time this will be the final time because we don't want to wear all of that off we want there to be enough of a mirror shine be hard enough and thick enough that when we come back the next time tomorrow we could just continue where we left off add some more layers of wax go at it again see if I can get some of this water off of here Go ahead, get the back of the shoe. You know what, let's get the heel one time. Get a little bit of wax on there. Cause we don't want to neglect that. The two parts of your shoe that you want extra shiny, heel and toe. It's the way they teach you to do it in the military. This part doesn't bend, doesn't crease, so it's it's all good to lay it on thick in the back as well. All right, that should be good back there for now. Let's make sure we get this excess water off the front. And this is gonna be it for for today. Get a little bit of brushing action going. Help thin all that stuff out. break it up a little bit and go around the whole shoe with just a little bit of water one time and that's definitely done I'm gonna go around the entirety of the shoe Let's get this one right here. Get our dry rag. Get 
this shoe nice and dry. Right, tell me what you guys are thinking of the process so far. How is it looking to you? This will be a good starting point to build off of in the future. And that is that. Look at that shine right there. Look at that. See what it looks like compared to the other shoe that I've yet to do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this other shoe real quick and we'll be back with the very finished product. Well, that was absolutely grueling, but manage the finish. Here is the finished product before your eyes right now. I'm absolutely in love with these shoes. I'm getting ready to wear them out for the first time tomorrow. I think all this hard work, I've been in here slaving away for about the past 30 to 40 minutes doing the video and all. It even expanded the time even beyond that, but so glad to finally be finished with them for their to get them ready for their first outing, I think this calls for a celebration. Wow, here's to us, man, because we're major. Mm. So here goes that before and after photo. Hopefully you guys can see the difference. They were already shined up a little bit before with the pre-treatment that the shop themselves had did. And from the time that they had did that, I have not worn these shoes since purchasing them. So I imagine that that shine would still be on here a little bit. Whether you could see a difference between what I did and what they did, it might not show up on camera. But definitely just take my word for it there is a difference there is a nice beautiful shine inside of these shoes now that was not there prior and I only look to build upon that from here on out going into the future I got the taps inside of there and looking to probably get a toe plate to go up here as well to accompany this heel plate but wow overall happy with these they're almost done they're almost done i will take them out tomorrow and maybe i will go look for that that toe tap i keep calling it a toe tap the toe plate then but wow amazing job not a night and day difference but yes there definitely is a difference look at that beautiful shine anyways i thank you gentlemen for taking this journey with me i will see you guys in the next one probably need to do up my brown shoes next because since I got these I've been neglecting those well even before I got these I've been neglecting those for a while so it's time to take care of my old shoes and restore them back up to to snuff so that they're in a condition like these all right gentlemen salute to you wherever you may be out in the world keep it classy
Hello, gentlemen, Mark Antimate here for Gentleman Masterclass. I'm here to let you guys know the good news that from this point forward, we are going to be launching a style consultancy. Not to be confused with an image consultancy, we are purely dedicated to making sure that you look your best each and every time that you step out of the house. With our different courses for different categories, you will be able to partake in a session that is going to teach you about the different aspects of style to make sure that you are at the top of your element. The first category is purely about men's dress shoes. For the price of 40 US dollars, you will get a one on one video conference call for the duration of minimum one hour to make sure that you know every single aspect and faucet of what goes into making sure that you purchase the very best men's shoe that you possibly can for the money. Everything that you need to know about that one particular category will be taught within that one single session. So essentially, it's a one-time fee to learn information that's going to last you a lifetime. So come on over and book a session while spaces are available now. Write to me at gentlemanmasterclass at gmail.com. Anyways, it looks like our time is up for now, but I will be seeing you guys soon. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy.